Hello, welcome back to another plan with me. This week I'm planning for the week of the 20th to the 26th of November. This is Black Friday week, like the week that I was prepping for the sale and that the sale begun. So I'm using the Black Friday sale freebies because I thought what better occasion, it suits the season and it's before we get into like the proper Christmassy kits. So I have a bunch of the freebies. I've got the newsletter freebie, the £25 freebie, the £100 SVK, the first page of the mini kit freebie because it had extra full boxes and I've got the like all orders freebie, the daily freebies and I think that's it. Um, I've just like picked bits and bobs from the sheets that I think I would use. So um, yeah, it's been a while since I did a plan with me. I actually went to film yesterday and I thought I only had two plan with me's to film and I had three so I completely forgot that I'd like written notes for this spread. So initially this spread was gonna be the week after, so I just moved everything forward. So um, yeah, I, I, I just lost the piece of paper that had these notes on and then I found it and I was like, oh, I've missed a week. So luckily I remembered before I'd like stuck any plans down or anything. But um, this week was super busy. I think the previous week I'd finished the advent calendars and then because they sort of took longer than I expected, Black Friday prep was a lot more rushed than I'd wanted it to be, which I think it always is, but like p particularly this year, I was gonna be super organized and have everything done in so much time. And like, honestly, I did catch up a lot more than I expected. Um, a, a big shout out to the graph deck because the only reason that like Black Friday managed to go as well as it did is because the graph tech was like saving the day. But um, yeah, just prep wise, everything was so last minute and I, I don't know. I mean, I don't know if you could tell. I think it was maybe obvious if you like knew me, but like, I don't, I don't know. I think I disguised it quite well. But anyway, yeah, um, so this was a chaotic week. <laughs> I also had the mystery to ship. So I did ship the mystery on the Monday, which is like late-ish for the mystery. So the mystery ships in the middle of the month. And I like to stick around like the 15th, 16th, like 18th at a push. So like 20th was not ideal, but yeah, Advent is uh, luckily only a one time a year thing. And I, I've, there's so much that I would do differently next year in terms of just getting it all done even earlier. But yeah, um, I won't keep dwelling on that <laughs> because I think everyone is sick of hearing me talk about it. But um, in the sidebar, I've just put my highlight of the week. So these are new little stickers that I released a couple of weeks ago and there was one on the Black Friday freebie. So I'm gonna try and put like a little a little phrase in my sidebar, in my sidebar, sidebar? <laughs> in my sidebar that is like a, like a summary of the week and or like a maybe a success or something. So, um, mine is that I managed to catch up, which I'm very happy about. Because it meant going into the, the next week when I actually like wasn't very well, that it wasn't sort of as catastrophic as it could have been. But anyway, on to the Monday plans. The first thing I wrote, uh, actually I haven't even got my plans, where are they? I think I've put them in the bin. I had, if you if you can't tell, I'm, I'm a little bit out of practice with plan with me, so I've got three to do today, so <laughs> hopefully by number three it'd be better. Um, anyway, the first thing I marked was what am I doing? Oh, um, I was color blocking and then I forgot that I was color blocking and I thought it was easier to switch the order of the headers because that's the only thing so far that's like dictating the colors um, than to pull up the box that I'd already put down. So I switched the first day to be the green color and then we're back on track. So <laughs> the first thing I marked was that I had an early start on the Monday. So I was working quite late Sunday night, really wanted to get the mysteries like packed and finished so that I could drop them off early because like I say it was already cutting it fine so I got up quite early for me which was prob I think it was about like seven or like yeah I think seven and then so the post office on Monday is not open in the evening the the, the sorting office and I'm sure you know this more than I do because I always forget but um I knew that I had to drop them between eight and ten and you can't drop them in the last half an hour because they might do the cut off early. So it has to be before 9.30. So I had to get up, finish collating the mystery, put them in envelopes and label them, which takes a few hours. And I think I just like speed ran it <laughs> and managed to do it. So we then did a post run, got the mail dropped off and it was super busy. Like I guess because it's not open 
like in the afternoon on a Monday. But for some reason, like we just didn't expect it. So we were queuing and it was so chaotic, but luckily Tom came with me because I hate parking there. But um, then I had my nail appointment at like 11ish. So we got back in good time for that. And I went purple, but I don't think you saw my nails because I don't think I really did much filming at all. I didn't even really vlog Black Friday week. Like I have a vlog for this Sunday, which um, is the week kind of after Black, well, the week after the week after Black Friday. But um, yeah, it's just, maybe you saw them, I don't know. Um, not that important. Then I marked that Ari was snoring really loud. So now that we only have like the graph tech, the machines are a lot quieter in here. Whereas when we had the silhouettes, it was like super noisy all the time. So Ari just like falls asleep and then he's even noisier than the graph tech sometimes. And I just thought it was funny. So I marked that. I've got a little fox and cactus dog sticker and I'm trying to use these bigger stickers a bit more because I end up with them just stuck like in my stash because I don't really use the big ones. So where possible, I'm trying to use them and I layered it on a post-it note sticker, which I really love. I might do these in multicolor because they're quite useful. Then I marked that I packed more orders with just a little icon from the deco sheet. And then I posted my Black Friday information for the sale. Um, so this, this is what I mean with it being like last minute, like ideally would have posted before the Monday, but here we are. And I actually got my dates wrong. I don't know, well, I, I did say, so you, you would have probably noticed, but everything I had shifted a day late or a day early, I can't remember, but like I got the numbers wrong. And the only reason I realized this was because I watched someone else's like Black Friday sale video and they mentioned the Black Friday being like the 24th. And I was like, uh, no, it's the 25th. And then I checked mine and I was like, oh no, I'm wrong. <laughs> so I edited my graphic. The email I sent out was just wrong. I didn't want to send another email that soon. So yeah, it was just, ugh. but I mean, I think because like the days are quite clearly labeled Thursday, Friday, Saturday, etc. People probably pay more attention to that than the number, but it wasn't great. Then on to Tuesday, the first thing I did was I designed the sale freebies, which are the freebies that I'm using for this spread. I had designed like the full boxes the weekend before, so that was like the bulk of the designing, but making the extra sheets and doing the patterns and the colors and stuff, when you're doing so many sheets, it is still quite a big job. So I did that. And then I printed and cut, don't know what, probably, I don't know, something. <laughs> I never write it down in my notes. I don't know if it's interesting. Um, but then I collated some kits. So I'm using the icons from, I think this was the planning, like tarot card sheet. They were super useful in this spread actually. I think I might just release like a, like a, I think doodle samplers of like themed doodles would do really well. So I might release some of those soon. Then, um, oh yeah, so bless her, Kat sent me and Tom some brownies and um, we got them in the post and they were, she had a little note in it and it was like, good luck on like Black Friday and well done for your work on like Advent and stuff, it was so sweet. So that was really nice of her and they were so good. There was like a Lotus biscuit one, a Malteser one and a mini egg one. Um, so that was great. Thank you, Kat. Then um, I got some Advent feedback this day. So... Maybe it was the Monday that we shipped the advents. I don't know, I can't remember. But um, yeah, I started to get feedback on people that had opened it straight away and it was really positive. So I was so happy. Like, I just feel like it kind of made it all worth it, all the stress. It was so nice to, to finally like have it out into the world. So that was nice. And then I worked on some orders again. I think these were the, the last ones I had to do because I try and get them out of the way before the sale begins. Then I took some photos. I took like the promotional pictures for the freebies and a picture of, well, some pictures of some spreads that I had not shared yet. And then I just had a shower and washed my hair in the evening. Moving on to Wednesday, I designed new releases this day. So as I said, everything was a bit last minute, including the Black Friday releases. I tried to do like a couple sort of every day to like not make it too bad, but still still was designing up to the wire. I then did some website edits this day. So I like to change some things on the like Shopify site before a sale begins. So I'll put a little countdown on, try and do like a banner, a page with sale information, stuff like that. So that just, just make it like as clear as possible for the customer. Um, and then I also like to schedule 
the changes that I'm going to publish like on the day of the sale. So I sort of do a, a copy of my theme and make those changes and then I publish it. And because we also did the limited edition like Black Friday Cyber Monday font, which is the custom scripts that I'm using for this spread, um, Tom had made it so I had to publish a theme to make that like go live. So I made sure that I was editing that one. Then I printed and cut again this day. And <laughs> so me and Kat, uh, when we message each other, like I don't know how it started or whatever, but we call each other friend. Like that is how we will address each other. We'll be like, how are you friend? Like it's just how we talk to each other. And my phone has started correcting friend to Forbes. So <laughs> it was like, how are you Forbes? And it, it did it like three times. And I was like, I don't understand why it's happening. Cause it's not like I go to Forbes, like the website like ever so it was just super weird so I marked that because it was funny and then I took more photos this day so these were the new release photos and the reason I'm taking photos like every day is because like in an ideal world I'd have them all done at once take all my photos at once and like do it all in like a nice like a batch process and I was just having to do it every day <laughs> then I filmed the sale video so this was also delayed I think I got it up at like 9 p.m which is probably not the like optimum time to upload, not for UK customers anyway. But um, yeah, it, it, it got up though. That's the main thing, like I did it. <laughs> so after that I did the listings because I'd taken the photos. So I thought if I just get them out of the way now, tomorrow me will thank me. <laughs> and then I had a bath and I haven't been having baths really very much at all. And to be honest, I, like after sitting in the bath, I'm a bit like, this isn't the most comfortable. It's really cold. I can't like fully like be covered in the water. Like there's always, I don't know if this is a common problem. I have Googled it. When I'm in the bath, like there's always part of my body that has to be out of the water because we don't have like a deep bath. We just have a normal bath. And I just, when it's really cold, I just feel like it's not a fun time. It's probably the shape of our bath or like the shape of me. <laughs> but yeah, um, so I had a bath bomb and I found this like really pretty purple one. I think I got it for Christmas and it's a lush one. So like, I know they have expiry dates and it probably was expired, but it was really nice. <laughs> it was very pretty. I thought it was very like apt as well because it was plan face purple. But um, then moving on to Thursday. So this was the day that the sale began. So it was like all systems ago, very busy. So the first thing I did was printed and cut. I think I was just prepping new releases like this whole week and I've marked that with a little once more with love sticker. Then I paid a supplier and I can't, if this is what I'm thinking of, I used the wrong card and I've paid for it on my personal account and I need to remember that when I do my bookkeeping that I have to fix that because I'm just, I could be confused because that's the thing when you only do your bookkeeping like a few times a year, you forget like the little like odd tweaks that you need to make and it's such a pain. Then I marked that I was feeling anxious. I, I don't remember this. And it's not really something that I would normally mark. So I think it was maybe related to the sale or something. And I was just nervous. I think also, I don't know if I spoke about this in the vlog, the earlier I am like prepared and finished for a sale, the worse I feel because I'm just sat there like worrying that I've not done something that I should have done. So it's almost better to be last minute, but like also it's not. So <laughs> I filmed a plan with me this day which I don't remember doing either. It must have been the last one you saw. So that's the last time I filmed. And I marked that with a really cute stick with the Planko Plan With Me sticker. They're so cute. Um, and I used a stick with a Planko squidge to mark my voiceover. I just wish they were like the teeniest bit smaller. I think she has made them smaller since I got this one though. Then I marked the sale beginning and I used a Paper Shire sales sticker. I believe this was like a specific Black Friday sheet and I've used my last Black Friday sticker on the Friday. So I need to go and see if she has any more of those, but I could definitely do replacing a Paper Shire order anyway, particularly for her food stickers. Like she has such a good variety of food. And that's one thing that I wish I like had a better collection of because often like we'll go for specific foods and I don't have like that icon to market. Then we watched The Hunger Games, which I've never seen. Tom has seen like the first film and then it's kind of like a sad story, but he watched them in like, I don't know if it was primary school or secondary school, probably secondary school. And he was going to read the second book because he really liked the film and his friend spoiled it for him. So he never watched or read the rest. <laughs> so we're watching them now and really enjoying them. 
but um, I want to see the new one as well. So hopefully we'll get through the ones we haven't seen. We've since watched Catching Fire, so I don't know if we have like one or two more before the new one. But anyway, on Friday, I marked that it was Black Friday, even though my sale began the day before. So Friday is like the most like non-eventful day in my sale because nothing really new happens. It's just a continuation of the Thursday and then the weekend is when there's like new stuff all the time. Although the mystery went live and <laughs> the reason the mystery went live on the 24th was because, you know, I mentioned how I got my dates wrong. When I changed my graphic, my original Friday was down as the 25th which is the mystery day. So I just changed the dates and didn't think about like the fact that the dates dictate when the mystery is live. So I'd left the mystery as being live on the Friday and it just made sense to keep it how it was. Also because on the Saturday, like I had other things going on. So it kind of made sense to put Friday on the empty day anyway, to put the mystery on the empty day. Um, I also filmed content this day, trying to get a little bit of scheduled stuff up for the sale so I think I just got like some like kit packing um maybe an order packing I can't remember what I did um but I tried to I'm trying to do reels again <laughs> which I say every few months I know did do one yesterday so uh please go and like it <laughs> if you uh if you see it then I replied to messages had some customer service bits to do on email and then I realized that I hadn't ordered the die cuts for the Cyber Monday kit so Cyber Monday kit is basically just like a bonus mystery kit and the mysteries all come with a die cut so I needed to go and place that order. I did use a different supplier so I ordered from Stick and Mule and I've used them before but I like a different supplier from my like regular die cuts but I knew Stick and Mule were quicker so I ordered them from Stick and Mule and they came really quickly and to be fair like the quality was good I just don't find Stick and Mule as like I don't know actually, I should probably do a price comparison, but like the last time I looked, I don't think they were quite as competitive as my usual for like literally the same quality. Then I marked that I ran errands. Honestly, don't know what this was and it's not really a term I would use. Like I don't, I don't say in real life that I run errands, but I had it in my notes. So we did errands. <laughs> then I placed a Coffee Monsters Co order because she had her sale. There was a few bits that I needed to pick up for the people like Kat wanted, um, like I think it was an enamel pin and Sarah wanted a few sheets and I, I just went a bit wild and ordered like a load of stuff for me. <laughs> I'm running out of a couple of like kinds of stickers and then I actually went in my like spare album and found a few. So I've probably ordered more than I need but fingers crossed that will come soon because I'm I really wanted to use those stickers in these like group of plan with me's and I've just missed it but it's fine. And then uh I packed oops bags so <laughs> this was another thing that I really left way too last minute because like I, I knew I had quite a lot of oops and I had a lot of exclusive art oops because I've been saving my mystery sheets for like a reason and Black Friday was a good reason. I, I had a huge bag, not even a bag, I had a huge box, like a, I think I showed it in the vlog and I th thought I'd be able to pack them in a few hours. I think in total, I probably spent like eight hours packing oops and I did it while like doing other things like I, I was like watching the Grand Prix packing oops it was just there was so much maybe more than that maybe like 10 hours but um yeah so I did most of them on the Friday well I did like <sighs> this is so boring I worked out how many of other bags I would have based on the amount of sheets I had and like weighed them so I could predict how many bags I could make so I had like preliminary numbers for putting the listings up on the Saturday and then I made the rest over the next few days. <laughs> so boring. Apart from the ones that were like clearly quite more limited. So like the scripts and the doodles, they go really quick. So I made sure I'd got like actual figures for those. Then on Saturday morning, I did all my grab bag listings because this took forever. I ended up just like making new graphics because I was getting confused because I'd got like the extra large ones, the exclusive art ones. So everything had like variations and I just started again. I was like, I can't try and edit my existing listings. <laughs> Then I've written, oh my god, dot dot dot, cellos, because I was packing my oops bags, and so I get my cellos custom made. I had this order a few, like, months ago, and I've come across quite a lot of them where they are split at the end, so when I put, like, a, a stack of sheets in, they go right through. <laughs> so I've had to complain about that because I thought it would be the odd one, but it's actually, like, multiple packs out of my thousand 
like 10,000 sheet cello bag order and I don't really know how I can check the actual amount of them. So that was frustrating. Edited some reels this day and I did some Christmas shopping because obviously it's Black Friday and there's lots of deals so I was trying to just like get ready and prepare well for the festive period. Don't have that many gifts to buy so it doesn't really like take too long but I just wanted to try and like make a good dent in it and I have so that's good. Then we had the Formula One qualifying so we watched that, made more oops bags <laughs> while we were watching it and um, then because it was Sarah's birthday uh, the next week we went round and we played board games with her, her husband and her daughter and that was so fun and we had a Chinese as well. We played this game called Poetry for Neanderthals. Ne Neanderthals. It was so good. I like literally bought it for like our family while I was sat there. I was like, I'm gonna order it because it's so fun and it's gonna be such a good like Christmas like day game. So um, I'd highly recommend. Then moving on to Sunday, I spent like a good portion of the morning just on the sofa in uh, uh, under my blanket, like on my laptop. So I marked soft office and this was when I was working on the stationary mystery boxes that were going live at midday. So I did like the listings. Oh, I'm out of breath. <laughs> I've got to go and pick the dog up in like 10 minutes. So I'm kind of rushing. Um, and then I edited the vlog. I think this was the last vlog we got before I got ill. So there's not been any since. I worked on the sales. So I think this is probably like mystery listings. And then we had the Formula One race. This was in Abu Dhabi. I think this was the last one. So now we have like a, a three month break or something, which is very sad. But to be honest, I am like happy to get my weekends back for a bit because we do kind of just plan the whole. I'm, I've been a fan for like three months so and I'm, I'm being very dramatic, but like we kind of plan everything in the weekend around when the races are. <laughs> So uh, it's so funny because my mum used to love Formula One when I was little and she used to do the exact same. And now I've just like become that person. <laughs> then I marked that I rang my dad. I think we were discussing like, so his birthday is in like two, well, is tomorrow the day I'm like recording this, but in, in real time in the plan with me, it was in two weeks. So I was asking him, what does he want? Does he want to go for a meal and stuff like that? I did a little bit more present shopping this day. I got something for my dad for Christmas, which I was really chuffed with because I'd been looking for it and was struggling to find it. Then the last thing I marked was playing Minecraft with Julia, Sean and Tom. I've got this massive Once More Blood sticker. I've got a few of them and I think they're oops quality, but I don't really have any better like gaming stickers. Um, and I marked it with a little transparent arrow from By Gem Designs and I love these. They're so cute. So this is what I've got left of my sheets. I don't think I've even got them all here. I kind of discarded them as I went, but um, I have so much left and this was just because it was like a tiered freebie set. So way more than a normal kit. I also did introduce a 150 pound tier for the sale, like mid sale, because we ended up having a lot of people that sort of would have met it. And I felt like they deserved a little extra thank you. But anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you liked the plan with me. This is my completed spread and you can't pick this kit up obviously because it is a freebie, but I do have a lot of similar standard vertical kits in my shop, which I will link below. But thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.